Hi guys, thank you for tuning into this video about how to choose the right font for your website. My name is Chris, thank you for watching. Um, so I wanted to do this, do this video because I still see a lot of websites out, uh, out there, uh, you know, uh, choosing bad fonts or, or colors for the website either in the copy or in the navigation and you can often see that uh, they had designers to do this uh, design work but uh, but still the designers fail to to uh, to 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 find the right font um, and also you don't want to just use the standard fonts like Arial or Verdana or uh, Times New Roman or something like that. You want uh, to to choose a font that sort of uh, communicates you and your values and your business values. So I jumped up over here to uh, fontspring.com and uh, this is a great site for uh, finding great uh, great uh, uh, fonts and you can buy them here and you can use them either in your uh, desktop projects like in InDesign or you can use them uh, for your web projects uh, in your websites and it's really easy to uh, import, the, uh, import the fonts into your website and uh, start using them. Uh, so this is an example of uh, of what I mean, you know, I sometimes see uh, restaurant websites with this kind of uh, text because they think that well, this is a sort of a menu and it looks great, um, so we're going to use this. And sometimes they also use this for uh, navigation and so on, and it's pretty hard to read. And right off the bat, you will be uh, alienating people uh, by using this type of typography because people uh, can have a hard time reading it. Uh, but to start out, you know, there are two uh, two different, uh, mainly two different types of uh, of uh, fonts. And uh, if if you know your basic fonts, you will know that they are uh, serif and sans serif. And uh, this is a uh, a serif font where you have these uh, small tabs at the end of the uh, at the end of the letters. Uh, you have a uh, sans serif where you don't have these tabs like the Gibson font here, and you have the slab serif where you have these big slabs like on the Museo font here. Um, so what you want to think about when choosing uh, the font for your website is, uh, you know, uh, first and foremost, which font is easy to read. Uh, which which font is uh, legible, and to f to a, a pretty easy way to figure this out. There are a lot of uh, you know ways to do this, but a, an easy way to to figure this out is looking at the negative space in the in the in the letters. You know, in the B here, or in the G, or in the O. Um, the bigger the negative space here, uh, the better. Uh, so it's 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 easier to read this way, and you will see this also uh, on row signs, for example. Uh, they use letters with big negative spaces um, in in the letters to uh, to make it easier to read uh, on, on distance and uh, and make it easy to read uh, quickly. Uh, so the Gibson font here is uh, actually a font I uh, I love to use. Uh, I think it it looks great. I love the the round uh, curves and uh, it's it's very easy to read. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, Another font that I love to use is the Sevilla Pro, uh, which I use uh, for my own websites and my own uh, uh, promotional things. So, like my Facebook page, you will be able to see um, that I use this font here. So, what should we use these uh, display or handwritten fonts for if we can't use them for navigation or, uh, or, or copy? Well, you can use them. Uh, you can use them in in headers or in splashes or you know things where you don't have a lot of text or a lot of letters, but you you want to call some attention to it and and make it, make it look great. Uh, other things to to uh, think about when choosing text is, uh, of course, thickness. Uh, choose a text that is. Uh, you know, have a, a great standard thickness, not too uh, thin and not too thick. Um, either way, it it will be uh, uh, harder to read. 
Uh, the size of the text is also important. I see uh, some te some websites, uh, you know, uh, with very small text and uh, problems problems when you try to zoom in. Um, so uh, make sure your text is uh, 16 pixels as uh, as a standard. Uh, then you are pretty good to go. Um, when choosing colors of your text, you know you want to make sure that you you have a high contrast uh, of your text. So make sure that you don't have you know a, a light gray text on a white back background or you know a red text on a black background or something like that. You still see that uh, out there, and it is uh, it it is readable for normal people but normal people have to work for it uh, and uh, if you just have uh, a little you know eye disability or uh, problem reading you know a uh, text that it has that is hard to read becomes uh, impossible to read uh, this way so you know think about it this way make sure that it is easy for people to read the text on your website that is your uh, ultimate goal for your website uh, to to communicate something to people and you can communicate if you're not clear in your message and as i said you know this is a part of your uh, graphical identity of of the company of your or of your personal uh, uh, identity so make sure that that your uh, the, the the font you choose sort of communicate who you are and and uh, and the value. So make sure that if you are a modern company, a modern business, uh, uh, make sure that you choose a modern font. Uh, you know, as I said, I use this Sophia Pro, and I I just like it. I uh, I feel that it represents me. It's it's clean clean. It's a little bolder than than other types and uh, it's it's just nice to to look at and and have sort of a different feel that than uh, than uh, other fonts so i hope you uh, uh, took something from this video about uh, choosing the right fund if you have any questions feel free to send me an email or uh, connect with me on facebook on facebook and twitter uh, subscribe to my channel here on uh, youtube uh, i really love people doing that and uh, it, it makes sure that you are updated with the uh, new videos I try to put out new videos every week uh, sometimes I fail and I uh, do apologize for that but I love making these videos and uh, yeah feel free to ask me questions or come uh, give give me some suggestions on what to do uh, videos about next time so don't be a stranger see you later bye